Uh, I don't get it. What? People watch you play video games. Okay, but why? Because it's fun to hang out with friends. It's just like when we were little, except for way more CPU intensive than the sit next to each other on the couch days. Hey everyone, and welcome back to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and in today's episode, we will go over what you'll need to consider when building or buying the ultimate video game streaming rig. Let us worry about the hardware so that you can focus on the stream. Now, if you're brand new to PC building, check out our Build Your Own PC series by clicking here. Then go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any more DIY tech tips. For the ultimate streaming setup, many pros have two PCs, one to run the game and one to broadcast the stream. For the purposes of this video, we'll assume that's not in the budget and you're looking to do it all on one device. Luckily, there are some great pre-built options out there specifically made to game and stream off one CPU, like the CyberPower PC Pro Streamer or the Alienware Area 51. Cramming so much functionality into one case does have its downside, and the main drawback is the price tag. <laughs> Let's break down the hardware that you'll want to consider if you're going to go it alone. When it comes to streaming, your CPU does most of the heavy lifting. You'll be relying on your processor to encode video, run chatbots, loyalty point notifications, music players, etc. And all the while avoiding dropping frames, which lead to a not so nice viewing experience for your audience. When budgeting out your build, I'd advise you to dump some serious moolah here, especially if you have your heart set on streaming in high definition. To output 720p or more at 60 frames per second, you'll want to choose a CPU with multiple cores, impressive clock speeds, and hyper-threading doesn't hurt either. If you're building a budget streaming rig and are fine with streaming below 720p or 30 frames per second, then this can be achieved with a less expensive processor and with tricks such as optimizing your broadcast settings, capturing video from a console, minimizing the amount of windows you have open while streaming, and avoiding CPU-intensive games. Now, even if you're doing all of those things I just mentioned, I still wouldn't try this with less than an i5 series or equivalent. If you're someone who likes to have music players, chat bots, loyalty points, etc., all open in addition to your broadcasting software and the game, then RAM will be another important piece of the puzzle. Most streamers typically use around four gigabytes of RAM while streaming, so I'd put at least eight gigabytes on your priority list. If that's not in the budget, then 86 the Spotify, Discord, Streamlabs, Nightbot, or whatever else you like to run with to avoid stream stutter. We've talked a lot about the fun additions to your streams, but what about the games you'll be streaming? This is where a streaming build differs from a traditional gaming build. If you stream low demand games or capture gameplay from a console, then you may be able to save a pretty penny by foregoing a dedicated GPU and get a better experience by putting that money into your CPU. Now, if you stream games like, say, The Witcher 3 all the time, then a GPU is a must if you're planning on streaming and broadcasting from the same PC. Let's quickly buzz through the rest. For a motherboard, I'd look for something with extra slots for expansion. For storage, consider if you'll want to locally record your streams and how long you plan on keeping them on that hard drive. For the case, I'd recommend getting something with noise dampening so your audience isn't listening to your fans go on and off the whole stream. Sorry guys, I know that I'm being really loud. I'm not one of those streamers that's just loud all the time. I just want to make sure that you can hear me over my stupid system that's really, really loud. <sighs> And for your PSU, head over to PCPartPicker.com to calculate your power needs for different setups. Side note, this site also allows you to compare component prices and reviews, and it's a lifesaver for new and experienced builders alike. So that's that. Stream away and build your community the way you see fit now that the hardware is out of the way. Kinda. I mean, it's never really out of the way. And you want to constantly keep an eye on updating, but that's why there are shows like this one. Guys, let me know what your favorite game to stream is and shout out your channel if you like. We want to check out what you are up to. My name's Trisha Hirschberger and you've been watching DIY in 5. 